In this video we're going to continue on from the last tutorial and we will look at the shape tool and the marquee tool. So if you remember back we're going to continue with the same techniques of double clicking or right clicking and going to the properties. So the shape tool will allow us to draw certain types of shapes on our page. So once you click on the tool, click and drag to draw it in. You'll notice that the shape, the default shape is a rectangle. You can change that. We can also change the border and we can make it a link. So as always to change you can either double click or you can right click and go object properties. Now to change the type of shape we're using we look at the type. We have rectangle, a rounded rectangle which is simply a rectangle with rounded edges and an ellipse. If we choose a rounded rectangle and hit OK you will notice that those edges have rounded. We can even make that look a little more rounded than what it is by simply changing this value. So you'll notice now that that edge looks even more circular. The last one I have is an ellipse. Now the alternative text is the same as before, that's if we do a link and like I said in the last video we'll do all the linking at the end. Now you can have a border turned on or off and same as the image we can make it thicker and we can change the color. And the last part is the fill effects. The fill means the color of the inside. So the border is the outside and if I turn that off you'll notice now that all we have in the middle is what we call the fill effect. So with the fill effect that can be solid which is one color, a gradient which is two colors combined or an image which is an image that you choose from your computer. So if I change the solid to navy the color turns blue. If I make it a gradient, it will combine two colors. So I'm going to say navy and red. And it will show me what it looks like. I can make the gradient vertical, horizontal, and then even change how much red and blue is used. So I like that one. OK. And I want to turn my border back on and make that yellow and make the thickness a bit bigger. So that there is using the shape tool. Okay, so your shape tool can be used for all sorts of different items or different reasons. The next one we're going to look at is the marquee tool. Now to use the marquee tool, we're also going to look at the preview tool because we won't actually see the final effect until we do that. So I'm going to click on the marquee tool and I'm going to click and drag. Now as it is, the marquee tool is more so for headings or text that you want to draw attention to. And that's because it actually makes the text scroll across the screen. So to edit that, I'm going to right click, Object Properties. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type a message. Hi and welcome to my site. I can edit the text, so I can make it bold, italic, underlined. I can change the font style, same as I could in Microsoft Word. So I'm going to randomly pick this one. I can change the font size. I can change the text color and the background color. So the text color is what the actual text will change to. The background color is that whole section in the background. So I'm going to make my text white on a black background. The next section is actually the speed and the movement of the text. So I want the direction to be left, right, up or down. I'm going to go up for now. The speed, I'm going to say there's only a delay of 45, amount 5. The behavior, is it going to scroll, is it going to slide, or is it going to alternate? And is it going to repeat continuously, so forever, or am I going to set a time amount of times it repeats? So play around with those settings. I'm going to do these ones for the moment and hit OK. Now as you can see, my text has changed. It's white, but it's not actually scrolling. Now to be able to see it to scroll, I'm going to make it a bit bigger. To actually see it scroll, I need to watch this in the web browser. So at the moment I'm just in WYSIWYG, I need to actually see what this would look like in the browser, so in Internet Explorer or in Firefox to see it work. So to do that, that's where our preview button comes into play. So I'm going to click on preview and it opens up my site in, in, in Firefox, sorry, and you will notice that the text now is actually scrolling. And it scrolled five times and now it's stopped because that's what I said. So I'm going to close that 
and go back go back to the properties I'm gonna say this time continuous I want it to slide and I'm gonna say left so it's gonna go left to right and it's going to scroll okay and preview and now the text is scrolling and this will continue to scroll continuously it's not going to stop like it did last time so once the site part finishes it comes back out okay so that there is the shape and marquee tool and also why you would use preview you use preview a lot because the preview button will actually show you what this will look like in the website browser if you just keep looking at it in WYSIWYG you don't get an actual idea of the exact look of your site so it's very important to preview your website continuously the next video we'll look at a table and then we'll start looking at the other options on the right hand side of WYSIWYG